One morning I awoke to the sound of melting snow. The frozen land I once called my home is finding its rhythm again amongst the rivers. The forests are full of life. The sun begins to hang out longer. I am a wanderer. I find my joy by seeking out new horizons and always living for change. I spent the winter on an island, working on the local mountain, skiing every day. I'm excited for the change of season, to get back on a dry land and to see old friends. As I sit on this ferry back to the mainland, I have little idea of what the year ahead holds for me. This is how I live my life, open to the rhythms of the world, following the seasons as they lead. Heading to two friends who live in a home on wheels, close to a volcano. These two friends have been a part of my life during my most pivotal years. They have always helped me explore myself. I've climbed to the tallest summits with them and have felt the lowest lows after a close call with an avalanche. Last year I helped them build the tiny house they now call home. Seeing this idea develop and watching them make it happen shows me the power of dreaming. They live simply so that they can spend every day chasing their passion of being in the mountains. Exactly how I want to continue to live my life. Skiing digs deep into me, ignites a childhood desire to go fast, have fun, and laugh with friends. It is a useless endeavor, but I have always found value in it. Did you say chalk? Okay. It's called chalk, Sam. This place is a red rock jewel in the middle of a dry landscape. An amazing oasis for climbers. While skiing teaches me fluidity and fills me with constant joy, climbing is different. Climbing has taught me patience and courage. I've had many moments filled with fear while up in the mountains. Instead, it puts me through tough challenges and sends me out stronger on the other side, both mentally and physically. Days like these teach me to live in the moment more than anything. 
I find so much peace sitting beside the fire, sipping on cold beer and remembering the roots of the day. It takes some time for the snow to melt, and so I find myself waiting to head north and spend my summer planting thousands of trees. Nervous? Yeah. Well, you look really cool right now. Whoa, that's a big drop. That would be a big slam. Oh, wow. We up here. Nature is alive once again, sustained and peaceful. The green hills and the warm air put a twitch in my step. I've never been the type to stay in one place. So I load into my camper from another millennium and head north, chasing freedom every step of the way. Anna. I long to be who I am forever. I've built a lifestyle of chasing the seasons, of cycling, renewing, and growing. Yeah, that'll be good right there. I'm now living in a tree planting camp, far from the fringes of society. We are a group of visionaries, artists, dirtbags, and students longing for something deeper. We dedicate our summers to replanting what has been torn down in exchange for a quick buck. We cram into our tents, vans, and under our tarps. Together, we exchange warm beer and enchanting stories. All of our free time is spent beside the rivers and the waterfalls. All of us living for the endless flow of the river guiding us towards our furthest fantasies. Mesmerized by the absolute freedom of a life spent outdoors. These summers are not just full of joy and freedom. This work tests you. It strips you down to nothing and holds a mirror to all of your insecurities, your fears and your weaknesses. As night falls on this paradise, we prepare for another day spent in the jungle, planting as many trees as possible to fuel our wondrous lifestyles.
Every summer I've spent here has sent me out with my tail between my legs. It has shaped me and taught me, but I've never regretted it for a moment. It beats you down that asks you if you really think you're good enough. Bugs whisper lies in your ears, and the sun weighs on you until you find yourself huddled up, hiding from its grip. This summer is no different. I struggled with the change, with the isolation. I'm not always excited to continue down this road of nomadic existence. Deep down, something longs for stability. However, a bigger part of me longs for a constantly changing horizon. And so I listen to my heart and continue down the road. And lucky for me, I have a girl beside me who wants to do the same. Afterwards, I went to a mountain range, deep in the Purcell Mountains, a place where I can find rest. This place cooled off my sweaty brow after months in the thick jungle of tree planting. To lay on a moaning glacier felt incredible. This is where I always come to find rest after my summer spent up north. It is an incredible place that forces you out of the mundane and allows you to contemplate the mystic. By day we climb, explore, and wander this great expanse. But by night, we lay awake in wonder of our place among the stars and the insignificance of our being. Trading stories of where we have been and who we hope to be one day.
This place has endless granite walls rising from the ice below. It is a blank canvas full of endless possibilities. It asks nothing of you but to come and to set yourself free. Times like these are exactly what I'm in need of. To feel free to explore and to set myself free. Free of tradition, free of shame and fear. Just me and my closest friends experiencing emotions so basic that they cannot be reduced to simpler terms. Fall, the end of a cycle. Colors change as the earth turns over, dozing off into its cosmic sleep. Fall is the shoulder season, the time between when I find myself skiing and climbing, often when I wander into things unknown. Cities are not where I belong. I feel overwhelmed by the noise and the chaos. This feeling is why I run to the mountains for peace. I am far, far south on another continent. I am here with an old friend who calls this place home. Before heading anywhere, we stay on the coast, hoping to have our souls washed clean by salt water. This village is known as one of the birthplaces of surfing. The local fishermen needed to be able to maneuver in the brig to be able to fish. It started as a way to survive. Now it is in the lifeblood of the locals. At best was all he had to say when pressed about the rest of it, the world that is. From proto-Sanskrit Minoans to proto-centric Lisboans, Greek Cypriots and Havasats can hang around the ports a lot on. I grew up terrified of the ocean. It was an unaltered voyage full of sharks and unknown creatures. Surfing is a new sport to me. Here's the thing, start getting weird watching this man with scratch the beards of home. Choosing to throw myself out into the powerful tide still seems silly. And to the mines, the shopping axes, brush up all the your alleys and taxes. Love of hair, axes and axes, love of hair, axes and axes, all, all. First it wanes and then it waxes. However, the reason I choose to explore mountains and untouched places is the same reason I want to surf. To stand in a place few ever stand, be it on the side of a big wall or on top of an ever curling wave. Ten, you seven cones to three. Then you plus eleven. Thank the heavens for their elasticity. And as for those who live and die for astronomy. After the coast, we head inland. 
deep into the northern tip of the Andes Mountains. But before we made it there, we came across an arid, desolate expanse. We wandered that desert for days, riding the waves that were set before us, unafraid of the unknown. A life spent outside, adventuring, and seeing the wild places alters your perspective. We continue along our path into the mountains, high into the thin air. My time spent exploring the natural wild places of the earth has taught me the importance of the seasons and the need for constant renewal and evolution. This place has changed my reality. It has revealed to me the changing of all things, of one season to the next, This journey, this season of life, has reminded me that nothing ever stays the same. No traditions we grow up on ever remain. Instead they evolve into something more beautiful. My friend calls his land his home. He's a refugee of love. He came here to do nothing more than improve his surroundings. He spends a lot of his time in the Highland areas, bringing love and support to those in need. He lives for renewal and change. We continue our journey inland 
until eventually you run into a jungle. The place of modern myth. Me and my friend wander through this jungle for what seems like an eternity. Through the bugs, through the heat, through the humidity. Until we stumble upon something straight out of a dream. A chill was in the air. Quickly, we made a fire and dove into our sleeping bags for the long winter ahead. Suddenly, I found myself in the gray. The horizon I had once called home left. The days were short and the sky dark. I chose to find solitude in the dreariness of the cold winter. Winter has arrived and I find myself back on the west coast of North America. In my wildest dreams I could not have created the beauty that surrounded this hut I called home. We existed on a tilted plain, a slope of endless potential, flowing from one ridge to the next, tracing the skyline with limitless freedom. In the quiet wilderness, peace is abounding, and it is ready to transform one's soul. I rode a chairlift for the rich man one day. He spoke of his ability to purchase his time to come up the mountain. He owned a chalet, had employees to run his business while he was away. He found his freedom through wealth. I found my freedom by having very little and being able to pick up and leave with each passing season. We both, however, found the same freedom that day, speaking with childlike passion of the limitless joy of the absolute honesty of winter.
The memories I have crafted and the friends I have made while climbing mountains are priceless to me. I never want to regret the things I've done, and so I continue to invest into this adventurous lifestyle. Not living in the future nor the past, knowing that right now is all there is, accepting that success happens when you find peace. I find peace every day I spend with people I love in expanses far beyond my wildest imagination. Then one morning I heard a crack. The ice world we called home began to cripple. The frozen water broke through and the cycle began anew. Another blank canvas was born. Remember to listen to your heart. There's infinite joy found right outside your door, if only you have the courage to step into it. <laughs>